Polo All right, first things first, why was I doing this audio test in the first place? Well, I was actually doing it just to see how my MPC sounded when I would bounce it internally or when I would export the audio out through various sources. So I actually bounced down a version directly from inside of the MP, and then I actually bounced down some other versions using my Tascam, and I bounced down directly out of the MPC into my audio interface, and uh, it gave some interesting characteristics to each of the bounces when I did that. But with each bounce, it was a little bit of a character difference on each one of the bounces. And I thought that was pretty cool, but once I got done doing that, I decided to take it a step further. Forgot to turn on the lights. This is much better. But what I did is I actually went and exported audio from different DAWs to see and to compare the sound from those DAWs to my MPC. And to be honest, there was a noticeable difference between each one of the bounces. Now, you know I'm an MPC guy and I love the sound that the MPC gives me and I just love the feel of the MPC. It's nothing like working independently from using like VSTs and stuff so you don't have to deal with any latency issues, you don't have to deal with any CPU issues, you can just make beats and get them done. However, over the years, the circuitry inside of these new NPCs are not the same as the older NPCs, so they don't hit as hard as they used to. Now, they still sound really good, but they're not hitting as hard as like, like this. The 2500, the drums out of here, these things are massive. Love this thing, never getting rid of it. Mm -mm. But I really like the functionality of the newer MPCs because things are just so much easier to even bounce, to even create, to even put stuff in song mode, to even mix. All that stuff is much easier on the newer MPCs. But you do lose a little bit of that MPC grit. But I wanted to compare the MPC sound to the dolls, of course. And uh, I did some comparisons. I actually made a track just using five drum sounds from my Bolo 2020 kit. I went and level matched everything. And then I imported everything into a Logic Pro session. Everything was done at 48K 24 bit. Yeah, yeah. And of course I level matched everything inside of there as well so that we can hear everything at the same level. Now I did two passes on these. I did one pass where I didn't add anything at all. I didn't add anything to the master track. And I did another pass where I added the Fab Filter L2, okay? So everything is level matched, everything is the same, but everything does not sound the same. And it's cool because I think everybody has the type of sound that they like. And some of you guys might like the bigger sounding type of a dolls or even the drum machines or whatever. And some of you guys might like maybe a more contained sound, maybe a thinner sound to try to convey your message when you're making your tracks. Either way, this is very fun and I'm glad I did it. Now, for all you guys who are trying to hurry up and speed up through this video, just hear me out real quick. When doing the MPC test, I actually bounced this down three different ways. The first way is I bounced it down directly inside of the MPC Key 61. So I had just the tracks in here, I bounced everything down in the MPC Key 61 and I put it on my flash drive and then I imported it into my computer. The second way I did it is I used my Tascam Model 12 as my audio interface from my MPC. And then from there, I routed the audio into my UAD X4 and I just imported everything that way. And the third way I did it is I actually exported the audio directly from the MPC into my UAD X4 interface. And that was kind of interesting as well. You'll definitely hear the differences. Now, so far as the DAWs, I use Logic, I use FL Studio, and I use Studio One. And I made sure to level match everything, and I exported everything out of those programs, and then I just imported that stuff into Logic and just did the level matching and everything. And you guys can hear the differences in each one of those programs as well. And just to throw in some a little extra, I did the same thing on the Machine Plus and I imported that in as well. So you guys can hear the difference between the MPC and the Machine Plus. So let's go through all of the samples real quick. Some of you guys are gonna be able to hear this. Some of you guys are not gonna be able to hear this because there's only five sounds. 
And then you will really hear it more when you add more sounds, because when you add more sounds, you 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 hear more stuff like you know, more sounds. You guys know what I meant when I when I'm saying that. Yeah, y'all, y'all know. Somebody give me the correct terminology for that. But when using limited sounds, things can be a little, you know, even a little tight there, you know. But there still is a difference. And I want you guys to let me know which one sounds the best to you in the comment section. So let's go ahead and play these sounds right now and uh, let's see if you guys can hear the difference. Now, aside from the YouTube uh, video, audio compression, whatever goes on, you can still actually hear the difference between each one of these takes right here. And I wanna know which one do you like? And can you hear the differences in each one of the programs? I want you guys to let me know in the comment section 
and let me know what do you hear? Like, do you hear something like in the top end, the bottom end, does this sound fuller? Or did something kind of shock you into saying, well, hmm, this doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, so let me know if you like this video by hitting that little thumbs up and you know subscribing to the channel and hitting the little bell notification thingy. And I hope this video was informative and I might do some more like this in the near future. So yeah, I had a good time with this one. Peace out.